This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Uh, so we'll be starting our next topic uh, that is source of supply. So in the source of supply, uh, the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see uh, types of purchase in for records. Okay. Cross plant and plant specific PAS. Conditions in purchase in for record. Buyer's negotiation sheet. So we will cover up to till this part in today's class. Basically, we will today we will cover purchase in for record. Okay. So basically, uh, for defining relationships between materials and vendors in the system, data records are maintained. Okay. These data records records are generally referred to as source of supply. Source of supply. Possible source of sub supply are purchasing information record. Okay. Another one is outline purchase agreements. So there are two things basically. One is PAR, purchase info record. Another one is outline agreements. Okay. So today we will be covering purchase info record and tomorrow we will see outline agreements. Okay. So what is this purchase info record is? It contains data on a certain material and the supplier of this material. So purchase info record basically uh, have the data for material, material and supplier for this info, for this competition. Suppose let's say uh, in your company, let's say, let's say you are, you are purchasing a material. Okay, let's say you are purchasing a material. Material is ABC123. Okay, so this material you purchase it from three suppliers. Let's say supplier one. Okay, supplier two. Okay, supplier three. Supplier three. Okay, now so the same material, supplier one, let's say this is unit of measure is liters. Okay, just as you. So supplier one. Supplies this material, let's say for 10 USD per liter, same material. Okay, now the supplier two supplies the same material, let's say for 12 USD per liter. Okay, now other supplier, supplier three supplies the same material for 8 USD, USD per liter. Okay, so now where this information is maintained? Now let's say the supplier one supplies this in three days only. And this person takes five days. This supplier, same material. And the supplier three, let's say, is takes six days. So now where this information is maintained? All this information is maintained in the purchase info record. Purchase info record. So in the purchase info record, the information is maintained for the material and supplier combination. Supplier combination. Yeah, so that's what, that's what okay and outline agreement is a long-term purchasing agreement with vendor containing terms and conditions regarding the metal that is supplied by vendor okay and there are two types of outline agreements contracts and scheduling agreement this we will see tomorrow okay today we will be covering purchasing for record okay so basically the possible sources of supply so whenever you create a PO whenever you try to create a purchase order purchase order system will try to look for the data for the three places one is some plant information plant possible sources of supply then it will try to search for the information maintained in the info record which is primarily maintained for supplier and material combination so it will try to search for the price all that information info record and it will try to search for the info from the outline agreements. If maintained, it will take the data from there like contract scheduling agreements. So these are the possible sources of supply. One is plant, one is info record, another one is outline agreements. Today we are covering this portion, info record. Info record, okay. So basically, we will see what is info record. Purchase info records are information about terms for purchasing a specific material from a vendor. That's what I just explained. So it contains information for a particular material and supplier vendor combination. Okay. They are maintained for vendor and material combination. 
and can contain data for pricing conditions, over delivering, under delivering limits, plant delivery time and availability period. So you will maintain a lot of data, a lot of information in the info record like condition data, okay, delivering terms, how many days he is going to deliver, all those things. The purchasing info record is an important source of information for the buyer. Okay, so uh, whenever a buyer, a purchasing officer tries to create a PO, he'll try to refer the, refer the information maintained in the purchase info record. Okay, when creating the purchasing documents, the data from the info record is copied into the document as default values. So ultimately what happens is when you create the PO, when you create the PO purchase order, purchase order, system will try to read the data from the PAR of that metal and supplier and it will copy the information. The information will get copied to the PO if PAR is maintained. Okay. Normally, the types of info records are types of info records are standard, subcontracting, pipeline, and consignment. Today, we will be covering standard, standard info records, and the remaining ones we will cover when we go to the stocks. Here. Special documents. That time we will cover remaining ones. Today we will see the standard one, standard info record. Okay, so this is the one. So normally, as I just explained, the purchasing info record is maintained for a combination of supplier and the material, material information record. Okay, in that normally you will maintain plan delivery time, conditions, all that information you will maintain. Basically, conditions means price, price, any any freight charges, discounts, all that information. Will be maintained for this supplier and material combination okay so when you create a po for these two combination this information will get copied to the purchase order okay so now before going into the system purchase the data in the purchase info record is maintained at three levels one is general data here you maintain like vendor info Purchase order, you need some text administrative data, general data. Next one is purchasing organization data. Okay, like control, prices and conditions, statistics, text, and some data is maintained at purchase organization and for plant combination, like control, prices and conditions. They, you can maintain at purchase org level, level also, or you can maintain at plant level also. So maintain the information is maintained at three levels basically. Okay. So now let's go to the system and we will create the purchase info record. So the T codes are the, the T codes to create a purchase info record is create create is M11 change change ME2 okay and uh, display is ME3 ME30 ME30 okay these are the T codes okay uh, so now let's go to the system suppose I'll take a material take this plant in this system let me take this material suppose let's say if you take this sulfuric acid okay let me take this metal okay suppose if i try to create a PO, me 21 n we are trying to create a PO. okay i will enter the supplier okay i'll enter the supplier i'm entering the material okay let's say i want to purchase 100 100 liters okay plant is 610 okay suppose when i enter supplier is not maintained for purchase organization data
Let's have use this one. 